That rat of a landlord has cut the picture again. There was an unusual amount of activity in the area of the San Andreas Fault last night. Ah oh, well, at least I've still got the sound. The tremors took the geological community by surprise. Carnby. Greg Saunders, Hill Century. Cut it short, Greg. I've got problems. You're onto a new case? No, not really, no. I'm alone in the dark. I'll explain some other time. Edward, I got a Weston that's high and dry in the desert. What, has Billy Silver got a cold? The film crews disappeared. A thousand bucks plus expenses. Five hundred. Eight hundred. Conby, Emily Hall was down there. Yeah, your friend. She was part of the crew. Oh, then it's twelve hundred. Okay. Have you got a map handy? Something to write with? Sure. I got a map and five secretaries at the end of each arm. Go ahead. You see Barstow to the east of L.A.? You go south from there, some 50 miles, then off to the east, about five miles. After Las Vegas, go about as far as that black line. You see that on the map? That is the San Andreas Fault. Hey, that's the Mojave Desert out there. Conby, there's a town there. Well, it's not really a town. It's a ghost town, more like. Slaughter Gulch. Okay, I'm your man.
Jedstone came to the field of braves. Buried his hands in Mojave graves. He found himself a golden bird. And soon the wind done spread the word. Prospectors came from miles around. Eleven days they dug the ground. But there was evil in that mud, and Slaughter Gulch was born in blood. The whiskey seller, he came to, and hid his liquor out of view. The varmint who can turn that horn and tell the tale just ain't been born. Eleven days and nights did pass. And Sheriff Dawson came at last. He swore his band of lawless men would follow Stone until the end. Burris, you old varmint, get through the barrel and bring a bottle to my cell. Signed, Lefty.
Wanted, dead or alive, Duke and John Elwood. Reward, $2,000. 2000 is a handsome sum, but no bullet has ever stopped the Elwood brothers. Wanted dead, lie tongue, alias Cobra, reward $300. Careful, that Sam Yap man already escaped twice by putting a 30-30 bullet in the lock of his cell door and hitting it with the side of his hand. Wanted dead or alive, Jim Burris, alias Lone Miner, reward $400. This coyote is so greedy, the only thing that can stop him is a golden bullet.
Miner's Gazette, July 4th, 1864. A year ago, the Arizona kid was shot in the back by a pitless fast Jared. Since then, a legend spun by drunken fools claims that the kid returns to haunt the spot where he was murdered in midnight during the vulture song. Well, these fools and liars say that the kid's ghost then enters a picture of him painted in his blood. They also say that he then can be followed. <laughs> June 21st. Hollywood stars are such spoiled brats. Today I learned that Billy Silver demanded to be paid by Hill Century in gold ingots. June 24th. The San Andreas Fault slipped, producing an earthquake towards the end of the evening, as Brett Samuels was dismantling the projector near the ravine. May God have pity on his soul. In all my life, I have never heard such a scream. June 25th. Jeff Davis and another stuntman went down to the bottom of the ravine, but they couldn't find Samuel's body. Billy Silver refused to come out all day. He stayed in the bank, convinced that the ghosts of the Slaughter Gulch prospectors are after his gold ingots. June 29th. Something horrible's going on in this town. Maybe Billy Silver was right. His death this morning in front of the saloon was no accident. We all saw that thing jump off the balcony and stick its fingers in his head. July 3rd. I'm now alone in this town. With Morrison, the gunsmith, who's hiding God knows where. The others are all dead. I don't have any hope. Thank you.
Ranger, beware of explosions! Keep these reels away from heat and magnesium flashes! With winter came another man. He told Jed Stone about his plan. Your mountain does a treasure hold, greater far than yellow gold. In spring the convicts came to town, compelled to dig below the sacred ground. Compelled to turn by might and main, the land beneath into a drain. Jed Stone's next consideration was to build a railroad station. And while his men toiled underground, the iron horse pulled into town. The company must realize that Slaughter Gulch is paradise. So Jed Stone built a water tank and rode that train to the rich man's bank.
ähm, The Ziegler Watch by Z. Ziegler, Zurich, 1913. Using a method whose secrets I will reveal in my next work, uh, any watchmaker worthy of the name should be able to control relatively simple mechanisms from a distance. A door or safe lock will hold no secrets uh, for a Ziegler watch. When the full moon is reflected through the symbol of Prext, an honest man's movements are slowed until he breaks the cursed glass. He who places the war stick of Thunder Sun at the center of the stone of the dead will rend the sky and hold off forever those who guard the sticks. Traditions and Customs of the Navajo by Colonel Walker. A man called Prext would appear to be the author of a blasphemous work entitled White Book. The book is said to have been written in an ink which is at first invisible. I have heard that by firelight Prext chanted impious incantations to his faithful before indulging in unholy acts. Johannesburg Gazette, Special Issue, July 5th, 1865. Massacre at Slaughter Gulch. While North and South, now united, celebrated our nation's independence. The founder of Slaughter Gulch lynched a railroad company man and a government agent. Horrified by these events, the town's honest prospectors, led by Tobias McCarthy, owner of the general store, took up arms. Jetstone and his men then hid up in the mountains. But dynamite thrown by the valiant defenders of order ignited methane pockets, and Stone's lawless band was completely buried beneath a mountain of rock. Members of the 7th Cavalry searched in vain for survivors.
Practical Astronomy by C. N. Rokanan. Framed by Hercules and the serpent lies the Corona Borealis constellation, a hundred and seventy-nine degrees squared wide. Corona Borealis counts twenty stars of an absolute magnitude superior to six, and therefore visible to the naked eye. An unpracticed eye may only distinguish five, forming a circular arc. Beneath this circular arc lies the brightest star in the constellation, Corona Alpha, known as the Pearl.
This amulet brought you back from the land of the dead, Wazigun. But there is a task you must accomplish before you can attain human form. Give back to the earth the eagle that was stolen, or else at the hour of the wolf, Slaughter Gulch will live again, and the world will die. Hurry. When the embers are no longer red, your soul will forever leave this world.
Hey you. Hey you! The Force, 1865, 9.30 p.m. All contact with the mountain ore causes irre irre irreversible mutations. Mr. Stone seems immune to the radia radia radiations, but all others must pour lead on the mineral before working with it. Uh, June 7th, 1865, 2 a.m. The water in the caves uh, appears normal, but it is in fact heavy water. The hydrogen in the mo 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 molecules is replaced by its iso is is isotope uh, due to... Due to, due to Ethereum. Combined with the ore, this water could trigger the apocalypse. But I need more gold. June 21st, 1865, midnight. The Aztecs believed that he who could tip the world into the sea that lies beyond the great scar would rule the earth. If, if that's true, then I'll soon be sitting beside Mr. Stone.
Hi, guy. The rifleman is waiting. Touch him and you'll die. Give him a drink of water and he'll teach you to fly. When you are finally up there, the needle man you'll see, I'll be sticking to my bed, no shovel and pick for me. Hi, guy. I am now convinced that he whom I protect, fruit of the union between a certain Prex and Jarrett. 
God knows what happened to Stone's adoptive parents. I pray that Jay will follow in the footsteps of his mother and
Hey, you.
Johannesburg Gazette, November 1st, 1837. During yesterday's Halloween celebration, fire broke out in the San Juan Mission. The cause of this blaze is unknown. No victims have been reported. However, Jedediah Stone, one of the orphans raised in the mission by Father Don Fernando, is missing. Let us hope the tragedy has not befallen young Jed. No slave of evil may survive around the eagle who rules over the green world. No slave of evil may survive around the eagle who rules over the green world. Johannesburg Gazette, November 1st, 1837. During yesterday's Halloween celebration, fire broke out in the San Juan Mission. The cause of this blaze is unknown. No victims have been reported. However, Jedediah Stone, one of the orphans raised in the mission by Father Don Fernando, is missing. Let us hope the tragedy has not befallen young Jed.
Johnny 